Hey, 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 it's Kara with Kara's Color Me Vintage. This video is about how I made this piece look super pretty from this piece with just a little creative makeup. scheduled to do three lives that day on Facebook and I was like oh my gosh I have this huge rash around my eye <laughs> what? <laughs> what? what's this <laughs> Megan this one this is the one I'm gonna do I don't know why that one's so beat up <laughs> my god what are you doing <laughs> what she's so sturdy I can dance on her what is wrong with you I've got this what is wrong with Life me? Do I care to carefully? What is wrong with me? Does somebody know? What is wrong with me? Do my Just like me, this piece is sturdy, all right. But she has lots of imperfections, lots of skin that needs to be removed and maybe some cracks filled in too. Here in Texas, we're currently under the COVID-19 stay at home order. And I was looking for wood filler, but I couldn't find any. So I had to improvise and be resourceful. I thought, well, why not spackle her in with some wood glue? Let's see if that works. It certainly wasn't perfect. But who needs perfection anyways? Do I love you easily? What is wrong with me? The next step was DIY salvation solution. With DIY paint, you usually do not need to prime your furniture, but this girl had a sinful past, so I thought it best to put a couple coats of this wonderful primer on. What is wrong with me? ready for the foundation. For the paint, I'm using DIY's Blue Iris. It's a bright cobalt blue. DIY paint is clay-based with no toxic chemicals or fumes, so it's wonderful to paint inside. One or two coats usually does the job. I'm using my Paint Pixie number 12 brush. I love these brushes because they hold lots of paint so I don't have to keep on dipping and dipping and dipping. Right here, I inherited these from my dad. My mom always says, Kara, Kara, 
stop making your face like that. And I say, okay, I'll try to be excited. <laughs> That's my expression. Okay. So it's time for a little bit of makeup to cover up all of these lines and imperfections. So I pulled out one of my favorite Iron Orchid design transfers called Japonica. It's full of these beautiful flowers and orchids in color and in black. I just love it. All of the products that I'm using in this video can be found on my website, CarasColorMeVintage.com. The links will be in the comments below. I know that you don't like your hair, but I think it's beautiful. Instead of using the transfer in one big sheet, I cut it up into a whole bunch of little pieces. This allowed me to place the individual flowers wherever I wanted them, covering up all of those pesky little lines and imperfections. Just like when you put your own makeup on, we want to soften this up a little bit. Here I was all out of white wax so I just took some white dusting powder and some clear wax and I mixed it together to make my own white wax. I just lightly wiped it on with a cheap chip brush and then wiped it back. It gave it a really nice soft smooth look just like we want our makeup. And that's just about it. Now all there is to do is buff her out and get her staged. I got Botox once and my eyes were really went like this. That wasn't good. So I cut these little bangs to try to cover up the lines, but sometimes they don't work. What I know is with furniture, what's on the outside matters. It matters. The beauty of a piece of furniture lies on the outside of the piece of furniture. It could be storing your most craziest, terrible, awful, ugliest items on the inside. Drawers full of just mismatched socks or old underwear. It's the outside that matters on furniture. I love my makeup, I love my jewelry, I love doing my hair, but what I know for sure is what's really important is what's inside. Do my thoughts go away to thee?
what is wrong with 